Good morning, campers of the wild variety. <laughs> I don't know where this stuff comes from sometimes. Um, how are we all doing? Yeah, so I am at the end of the camp, but you are at the start of the camp. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've already done my camp. It's 8.30 in the morning. Uh, I camped here last night. Uh, I, did, I did some cooking. I did some carving. Look, sneak preview. Scoopy scoopy. Um, uh, what else do I do? I've done a full gear load out as well. I've unloaded all my gear. I've taken you through uh, my bag. I've also got a phone call coming. You, it, it's all to come in this one. Um, yeah, so uh, <clears throat> enjoy. Hello, I am back out again. Today's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a camp, but I'm going to do a bit of a bag pack. Oh, look at that. That's a cool that little fungus. He's a dude, isn't he? I forget what it's called. Yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a bag unpack today, but I'm going to do it slightly differently rather than just laying it all out and just kind of showing what you know what's there what i'm going to do is i'm going to unpack it and as i unpack it i'm going to set up camp so people can see the method to my madness tell me all the things that i'm doing wrong and uh you know whoa try not to stack it uh yeah hopefully we can help each other god it's getting dark in here right camp's just up here so uh, i'll get back to you when i get into camp Hey everyone, I'm back out. Bit of a, a bag load out. I'm gonna show you what I've got in there. I'm interested to know what people think. You know, if uh, if there's anything I could improve or change, you know, things I can maybe take out, things they suggest I put in, I don't know. But I'm gonna try and do it a little bit different, uh, try and make it a bit more interesting. What I'm gonna do is as I, as I load it out, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up camp. Uh, I'm out for a, a night tonight. I'm gonna do a bit of a camp. Uh, I've also got some uh, some wood, so I'm gonna do some green wood carving as well. So I'm gonna do myself a little spoon or something. Someone's ringing me. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's get straight into it. Um, so the bag I use is uh, uh, actually before I get into that, what I'll do is just go for what I've got on my, on my person, if you like. Uh, so I keep in my pocket. Uh, this is a, a silky gomboy. This is the 270 mil with a coarse blade. Keep that in my Fuel Raven. I can stand up here as well. In my Fuel Raven Vida Pro trousers. Uh, so yeah, keys. This is a small Oppenol. Uh, this is the oak handle one. I use this for camp cook, kitchen, cook, prep, stuff like that. Small tasks, as it's got such a fine blade. Uh, I've got a lighter. Uh, what else have I got here? Da -da. Earplugs. Uh, a couple of earplugs. Uh, I, I do wear them at night. Lovely hearing bird song in the summer. It's not so bad at this time of year, but uh, during the uh, summer months, uh, it can be quite noisy first thing in the morning. I also keep some extending bellows uh, in my pocket. So. Uh, that's there. I've got a, a mini pepper army. <laughs> Not very bushcraft. Uh, little, little tub of Vaseline in there. Uh, good for all kinds of tasks. Obviously, it can light fires, but uh, mobile phone. I keep my spork in my pocket. It needs cleaning, but I do keep it in my pocket. I uh, just find it's an easy place, you know. I can shove it straight in my pocket. I think that is it. Oh, and I've got a little bit of birch bark just in my pocket drying uh, from today. So yeah, that's everything on my purse. And I also use a leather belt um, because I can put some strop on it and use it as a strop if I need to. Uh, so that takes one thing out of my bag. Uh, what else do I do? So I've got um, boots I wear. Currently I wear the Solomon GTX mids. Um, they're Gore-Tex, they're lightweight. Um, to be honest, I bought them for lightweight hiking, but they are very comfortable. Uh, when they give up, I will go with something else, I will change. Um, hat, 
I use a, um, I forget who they're made by, but they come from um, Ben Orford, uh, the knife maker. Um, they're all, uh, yeah, they're 100% wool. They're, every single one is slightly different um, and they are very warm and comfortable. Uh, I've got on today, because it is going to be a bit cooler tonight, I've got on some uh, a thermal base layer. Uh, this is merino wool. Uh, this is just a, a fairly cheap one, mountain warehouse yeah something like that uh, and then just a wicking t-shirt so that's kind of everything on my, on my person uh, right I'm gonna bring you in a bit closer and we'll we'll do the bag now so the, my bag of choice is the uh, fuel Raven uh, Singi 28 uh, I used to use the Singi Steuben which is the uh, the one with the frame in it um, and it is lovely uh, but there's just not enough pockets and things on it for me. I do like to compartmentalise things. I do like things to be kind of organised. Um, so I like the fact that this has got that little bit of extra. Uh, they've got lots of pockets on there. Um, the top, it's got a main top hood. It's got one in the inside. It's got two on the inside. And it's got the two outside. The main bag is 28 litres. And then the side pockets, I think, are around three litres each. Uh, something like that. So it gives you an idea of, of space. So what, 28... 31 yeah so like 35 litres total so I'll start on the outside uh, so on the outside I keep uh, my pan and I also keep a plate uh, so this is just a titanium um, life venture I think they're made by cheap um, it's the only one I've ever had and it lasts it's lasted forever uh, and then in here I've got a Petromax uh, this is the SP20 version so it's a uh, 20 20 centimeter I'm assuming across the bottom but it's perfectly good for for one person it's raw iron so it isn't light um, but it it works a treat uh, it's great it cooks evenly you can uh, cook potatoes and things in it and uh, yeah it distributes the heat well so it's great and once you've seasoned it things don't stick it's a complete con people who uh, believe in non-stick raw iron cast iron once it's seasoned it's just as good and then I just made a uh, pull cord um, uh, oil skin uh, case for it just to keep all the soot off everything and hang that on there on the outside on the back I keep a hank of uh, paracord uh, just for little tasks and to be honest at the moment I've got a little mini coffee scoop cookser that I carved uh, some time ago and it's just always lasted on there uh, so hopefully you can see that I'll get out of shot. Yeah, there you go. So there's a little cookser I carved, little mini cookser. Uh, it just lives on the outside. So it has got quite a nice um, system on this bag. So it's got um, that was one of the things I didn't like about the Steuben. Actually, it didn't have a waist belt, so everything was on your shoulders. The, the the shoulder straps weren't very padded at all, so it was really uncomfortable to carry for any long period of time. And I like to kind of wander the woods and things so this one does it also has much better strap straps on it one side i keep my fire kit that is it yeah i believe uh, so in my fire kit in here i don't have much actually a little bit of birch bark crample fungus uh there's a bit of um tinder cloth in there uh steel and there's also some flint in there and it looks like there's a little bit of uh fat wood as well that's about it flint and steel yeah just a few things to get a fire started if you know i want to go that route and then i'll get into the inside so on what and then on this side i keep there's not much in here knife i haven't even got my knife out yet uh this is the um castrum number 10 uh, I think it's called the forest knife or something like that. It's not the Lars fault one. Uh, and then I have fire steel on the side of it, uh, just just attached on. So that just clips up like that and stays on there. That that's usually lives on my on my waist like that. Now uh, when I'm when I'm at camp, this is not overly bushcraft, but it's a big black water bottle uh this is a um yeah it's a bulk <laughs> i think it's anthony joshua's uh 
thing, but it fits in the side perfectly. And that is, I think it's 2.2 liters. So it's great for a 24 hours, you know, that's it. I can just, if I'm somewhere where there's gonna be a water source, I'll take something much smaller. Um, but here and a lot of the places I go don't seem to have water sources. I don't know why, I just seem unlucky that they don't. So that is that. Uh, there's nothing else in that side pocket, that is that. On the other side, you keep a little sit pad. Stick this on top of a, it's just a cheap foam one. Don't need to know any more about that. Uh, and then the other side. Uh, it's a little bit of wood that I brought, some green wood. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna carve that this evening. Uh, and in the morning, I've not got to be anywhere early in the morning, so I'm gonna carve that up, a little short piece. I'm gonna make like a little, oh no, I've just realized there's a big knot in one side. So hopefully I can do something with that. Anyway, that is, um, it's going to be a scoop, I hope. Put that down. A uh, little sit mat. I put this outside my hammock. Got this off uh, Etsy. This is made by Brown's Bushcraft. Uh, yeah, I think it's 18 by 18. Uh, so it's, yeah, 18 by 18 inch or something like that. It's perfect for just putting as a little stand mat outside my hammock. Um, drop that down so this side is cooking basically on this side um, other than those couple of bits this is all cooking so I'll pull this out so I've changed this recently actually and I'm yet decided whether uh, it's gonna stay this way uh, little thing of oil that stays in there for cooking and then this this is the bit that's changed so I used to have a titanium mug it was about a one litre uh, and then a 750 mil uh, mug that went inside it. I've changed that slightly. So I've now, I'll come back to that. This is a, uh, it's a little, what would have been like a tobacco tin. And then inside, out of shot, there's a, a bunch of spices in there. So I've got steak spice, I've got some salt, uh, pink Himalayan salt, pepper, uh, rosemary and then some mixed herbs and they kind of fit in there quite nicely the lid on and then it can that's that's an old char tin or it has been used as a char tin in the past a little spatula that i carved a while ago you know, i did that in a video actually if i remember uh, and then this is the main kind of cooking utensils so in here i have a 750 ml pot with lid and then I then have, this is the new section, you see, because it's all very nice and new and shiny. I have a, a Zebra 12 centimeter pot. Look at that. Brand new, yet to be seasoned. Uh, and then obviously the lid that goes in there. I don't use the little frying pan because I've, or the little steamer pan or whatever it's called, um, because obviously I've got my, uh, my own. Uh, so this is one of the reasons I love this bag unclip the other side there's some straps some compression straps on the side by the way that can be used for kind of strapping things i used to i usually put my axe down the side of the pocket because that's empty behind so you can slide it down on both sides um, but if i'm going somewhere where it's like where i'm likely to come across people on the walk in i put the axe on the inside just to kind of hide it away but you can unclip those and then what you can then do is the pocket unzip this this comes down and then the whole front opens up, which I absolutely love. Uh, it's a great system. Uh, it means that you can easily get to things. And then you've also got two pockets here, which you can access. Uh, so I won't go right into these uh, because to be honest, I can see what's in this one. Um, some toilet tissue, some sandpaper uh, and some strop, um, stropping um, compound, just for obviously knife prep. There's also a cleaning kit just for cleaning pots and pans. And then this, which is a, uh, it's called a knock, C-N-O-C, C-N-O-C knock, I don't know. Uh, it's a water bag and it's a, a two litre water bag. It's by far the most expensive water bag I've ever come across. It's bonkers, it costs, I think they're about 25 quid for a water bag, it's stupid. But it fits straight onto the um, Sawyer water filter so it's it's great from that respect uh, and then finally down here i have my carving kit 
So I've only got one spoon knife with me. This is, these are both Mora knives. I think that, and then there's a strop in there as well. So two, then there is one big, what they would call like the brain uh, on the top. Now you'll notice my um, packing system, uh, I use the David Fryer's packing system. Uh, for people who want to know, these are the large. Uh, this is a, a small flat. Uh, and then I also use one of his like possible pouches as well in here. So I've got one beer for this evening, treat himself. Uh, and then the only other thing in the front is uh, an electronics. Oh, I've got my Baco Laplander in there. I brought that because I've started using the Silky Gomboy. But I'll be honest, I broke two of the blades in the past, a while ago now. I kind of lost trust in it. I was worried that at one point I may not have a, uh, a battery, uh, sorry, a, 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 a saw. So to be honest, I brought that as a spare. Uh, and then this is my Possibles pouch. There you go. So this is, uh, this is my Possibles pouch. Again, this is a David Fryer's system. Uh, this is a, it's like a quarter size. Uh, it's got a, a little clip on there, uh, which I use to just hang it up off the ridge line or something if I want to. Uh, inside, Petzl ticker uh, torch with the uh, the little Petzl core rechargeable battery in it. Had that for probably six years or so. Uh, anchor, this is about a 5,000 milliamp. Can I, yep, yeah, five anchor. Power core 5000, so I'm assuming it's yeah 5000 milliamp power, uh, and then I keep a couple of a couple of cables in here, USB C, and a USB mini, uh, so that that can charge up pretty much uh, all of my kit. Spare uh, uh, lens, a couple of batteries for char for my kit. And then I keep a little survival type kit in here. So there's a couple of things in here. There's some patches from a Thermarest because I just transfer this between. There's a spare ferro rod, chlorine tablet, some Compede. There's actually a fire lighter in there. Uh, some paracetamol. Uh, looks like another patch kit. Sterile wound cleansing wipes, burn gel. There's a little Life Venture mirror in there as well and then uh, that as well. Oh, and then the final thing is I keep a, a spare washer uh, for my Sawyer, because I've lost that before and it's a nightmare. Obviously not having one and they're not easy to replace. So I keep that in there and that's it. So that is my little Possibles pouch. Right, tea pouch. So this is my little tea and coffee kit. Coffee grounds, obviously, uh, an absolute essential. That goes in there. Tea bags. Uh, there's some normal tea in there, and then there's also peppermint tea with a with a lighter. I keep some peppermint tea. Uh, alcohol for my meth stove. Uh, that's uh, I forget how much that is. It's not much. 60 mils or what's that? Two ounces. Uh, so that's perfect for kind of uh, my little stove that I use. I forget who makes this, it's really annoying because it's a, it's a UK guy, I believe. Um, but I'll show you, it's SBP on it. I forget what, it's, what it stands for, but it's a tiny little alcohol stove. It's just got some mesh on there and then some um, wadding. You just fill that up and light it. And, and then this is the, the little stand that you get for it. So this is great because it's a wind break. Uh, but then you can spin it around it's got this little pin that comes out clips together and then down in the bottom it's got these little stands and what they mean is when you put your cup in there it's got a cut out for your handle so your handles go in there but the cup sits up off the floor so it's a windbreak and a pot stand all in one it does everything it's brilliant i'll maybe do a close-up shot of that at another time but great little system i've had it for probably a year maybe two now uh, and uh, yeah i think it's great it served me really well and then the pin just stays in there 
and you're not using it. it packs up tiny you know that's my whole cooking kit it's crazy brilliant brilliant piece of kit that all goes in there get rid of the twig that's that right uh, now I'll go into my packing system and this is what I'll, I'll start setting up camp with these uh, in a moment but um, I'll just go through each one first so I keep them in uh, in an order um, the top one keeps my uh, uh, tarp in because obviously I want that to be quickly accessible uh, it keeps my hammock in uh, and it also at the moment I haven't used it yet I've just bought a hammock sock cover that goes over your whole hammock and blocks up the bug net um, for winter and then it also goes over the top of my under blanket just to help keep the wind off it uh, and give me a little bit more protection Warbonnet Blackbird uh, hammock um, yeah built in net and then also the uh, hanging system or straps this is um, the DD 3x3 super light don't really rate DD products if I'm honest I think the quality of them these days is pretty shocking uh, and I'm starting to hear it more from other people so that's that and then this which is completely new uh, this is a one wind I think it's called a hammock sock the next one is my quilt and some spare clothes in and then the final one uh, here is my under blanket that was my under blanket <laughs> oh and my uh, cedar summit pillow Look, final thing, axe, Gransfers, Brooks, small forest axe. Uh, needs a bit of a sharpen up and then a castrum protector for it. Uh, it's a great little axe actually. It's a, it's a little bit, you know, light for some tasks maybe. If you're, if you're cutting wood, uh, it might be a little bit, a little bit light, but generally it's a, it's a really good axe. It does everything you want it to. This is the um, bush box. This is the LF, so this is the small one, small version of the bus box. I wish I got the titanium one. That's my advice, that's a good bit of advice actually, to anybody buying a bush box. If you think you're going to use it fairly regularly, which I use mine more than I thought I would, uh, I've got the steel full size one, and then I was kind of annoyed because it was a bit heavy, so I decided to get the, the small one. I don't know why, I should have just bitten the bullet. Yeah. And, uh, and bought the titanium one. It's so much lighter, you don't realize you've got it. And this is, it's okay, but it's a bit small. And then down the back, I keep a grill. Uh, this is a titanium grill, boundless voyage or whatever, titanium grill in a, in a little sleeve. That is, that is everything. So as you can see, it kind of, you get a lot in there. Uh, it packs up really nice. So it was around this moment that I realized I was never gonna get the video complete before it got dark. It was getting dark so rapidly. I was running out of time. I was rushing to try and get camp set up, get the video completed. I made the decision at this point that I wasn't gonna be able to get it done tonight and that I would come back to it in the morning. So for now, enjoy the rest of the camp and the rest of the evening. In the morning, I'll come back to the bag unpack. And thanks very much for watching. Enjoy the spoon carving and the rest of the video.
is food time. I am starving. So I've got a uh, little parcel there with um, potatoes, onion, garlic, and peppers. Oh, it's sweet, sweet potato actually. I remember. Put some oil in here. Got some little chicken sausages. There we go, chicken sausages, uh, sweet potato, peppers, onions, garlic, rosemary. Mmm, tasty. Chicken. Sausage. Mm. That is very nice. Right then. I'm going to enjoy this. I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys. Alright, it's, uh, it's about 10 o'clock. Very annoyingly, I just dropped my knocked my camera over. So hopefully, it's still working. Everything is uh, is okay, other than my mic is no longer connected to my uh, camera. So I hope it's actually picking something up. <laughs> this isn't a rat. <laughs> um, so I've been doing a bit of carving. Let me just find. That's where I've got to so far heat and scoop thing. The back of the bowl I haven't tidied up yet. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for the evening now. I'm gonna get myself tucked into bed and uh, and then I've not got to be back in a rush tomorrow so uh, I think in the morning I'm gonna get this finished off and then um, yeah just have a nice chilled morning really. So I will catch up with you in the morning. Uh, right, so I ran out of light last night. <coughs> I was gonna, as I said in the intro, I'm gonna unpack my bag and I'm gonna set up camp and I'm gonna show you how I do it. And uh, <laughs> I ran out of light, it just didn't work. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack it away uh, now and uh, I may be running you through how I do it. Um, so the first thing I always do uh, is put my coffee on. First things first, most important thing. So the coffee's going. I then go through the process of hammock first. So the, the down bits under blanket, quilt go away first because they those go into the bottom of my bag. Uh, depending upon how warm or cold it is, I'll take off sort of layers as well if I don't need them and get rid of those so those go away. So I'm gonna get on with the first bit and uh, and get that done. So there you go, there's the, the quilt put away, if anybody's interested. David Fry's packing cube, uh, and inside it is a uh, ice flame, whatever that means. Uh, it's not the most bushcrafty colour, gotta be honest. Since I bought it, I realise it's probably not the most ethically sourced down, 
Um, so I wouldn't buy it again, if I'm honest. I think I mentioned that in other videos. If you're not bothered about that kind of thing, pretty good, actually. I think it's rated down to about zero degrees. I've certainly had it down to a couple of degrees and been fine. As soon as it gets down below five, I tend to put on some, some merino wool under layers anyway, just for when I'm sat around in camp in the evening and then I keep them on overnight. So uh, there you go. There's the first bit. Right, now for the under blanket. Hey, sorry about the uh, focusing noise that my mic's picking up. This is because I broke the mount the night before when my camera fell over. There you go, there's the second one. Uh, so that's my under blanket, uh, which as I have mentioned before, is a Cumulus Selva 450. Uh, it's rated down to, I think it's like minus 10 or something stupid like that. Um, but uh, I use it all year round. Uh, I've never found I get too hot in it. In the winter, what I've now bought is a uh, hammock sock, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, just to stop the drafts. But um, I've never needed it, to be honest. Uh, I just thought it'd be quite nice. Uh, never like the wind on my face. So if it's windy and I've got that hammock sock, which covers over the, the net as well, it'll add a bit of protection. But yeah, I've always found it took a little bit of getting used to when I first got it, setting it up. I had a DD one before. Yeah, rubbish, in my opinion. But uh, fine for fine for summer, but you know, won't take you through the winter, the DD one. But the Cumulus, the 450, I have thought about getting a lesser rated one. I think they do like a 350 and a 250 and a 150 or something. Um, I thought about getting the 250 for summer, but it packs small enough uh, into one of these that I don't need to. So that goes in my bag next. Right, I thought I'd just uh, quickly explain those couple of things. So uh, DD 3x3 or 2.9x3 metre, I think it is. Super light tarp. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, don't particularly like the DD stuff, but the super light tarp is good. Build quality is not great. Um, it's got a lot of uh, uh, a lot of tape on the underside, which just looks like it looks like a five-year-old's done it. <laughs> it's shocking. But then, rather than a paracord uh, ridge line, I use Dyneema. Uh, they think this is three mil Dyneema uh, around that. It's got to be two or three mil. Um, with Prusik knots uh, like normal, um, but then instead of using knots at the end, I use these fellas. So uh, that is a, there's another one on the ridge line as well, as you can see. Uh, this is called a hammock bling or hammock gear, I think it is. Um, wasp, they just make it set up really easy, basically. I'll take you through it quickly. You take the round the tree at one end and you literally just hook it at the other. You can see that. You just hook it on and then at the other end uh, you tie it up slightly differently but you use the back back section uh, on there to hook it around the back and it stops it from slipping like that pull it tight and then it grips it it's a good little system it's a bunch of videos on YouTube if uh, if anyone wants to see them and then all I do is I hank it up properly over my fingers and then I uh, just tighten it up and then that goes in with the super light tarp uh, the super light tarp by the way uh, if it's wet um, I've got a, a small dry bag that I keep in the uh, uh, in the bottom of one of the pockets so it can just be stuffed into that if it's wet uh, so I stuff it if it's wet uh, if it's dry, like it is today, then I'll fold it up and I'll put this inside so it's all together and ready for next time. Right, let's get those packed away. I also need to get the hammock packed away, so I'll get that put away and that go all goes into the same uh, David Fryer's packing cube. So that's the, uh, there's a bit of a comparison for size and stuff what it goes down to it would probably go a little bit smaller if i packed it well but i've got fairly small hands but it packs pretty small i'd say that's nine ten inches by three cedar summit pillow i just hardly blow it up 
uh, in a hammock just because I find the way you lie anyway uh, just a tiny little bit of air in it just to give it a bit of shape uh, mm. is the best I find that would normally go in with the quilt but I forgot to put it in so I'm just going to lie that in the bottom of the bag my axe sheath always goes on to the ridge line when I get into camp and then that means I know where it is at the end so it's usually one of the last things I kind of pack away So that's the hammock done, uh, I should say, I, I never, and this is only because I made the mistake once, I never disconnect the whoopee sling uh, or the tree straps from my hammock. Uh, I'll always just uh, uh, undo one, I'll never actually, because I once left uh, a tree strap on the tree and then when I got to camp next time I didn't have it. Now when I went back it was there, but oh yeah, it was a nightmare. Obviously, because that evening I had to make one up out of paracord uh, to uh, to get myself through the night. But uh, yeah, obviously you don't want to do that too often. Uh, so that goes in a David Fryer's packing system uh, along with the DD. So in there already, I should show you one wind sock, a hammock sock, DD three by three and then the, uh, the wall bonnet in there as well. So they all go in together quite easily. There you go, so that's the three of them in there. I should say the only adjustment I've made to the packing systems is I've added a longer loop on there. Uh, it is just a, a loop, a paracord that I put on just to give us, give you a little bit more, a bit easier to put on. Right, so that one goes in on top of my bag now, and that's all three of the big packing cubes in there. Done. That is it. That is the bag repacked. Um, yeah, I ran out of time last night, so... Uh, I thought I'll do it this morning and I think it worked quite well because everybody can see you know how everything goes back in uh, it took me about uh, it took me about half an hour to do it even with filming so I would it, I normally expect it to take me around 10 or maybe 15 minutes um, I know it takes around that time because I'll usually put my coffee on um, and then I'll start packing away camp straight away and by the time my coffee is boiled um, camp is pretty much packed away so I and I only use a, a little alcohol burner so I expect that takes probably um, probably 10 minutes something like that um, because I usually boil probably half a litre of water for coffee in the morning um, and other bits and bobs um, I hope people have found it useful I'm really interested in feedback um, I know I've got some luxury items in there um, I'm pretty sure people will pull it can pull it to pieces and make some really good suggestions. So I'm really interested. Um, it's been honed over quite a few years um, to that point. Uh, the bag is fairly new. Um, I used to use the Steuben, so the system was pretty much the same, um, but just I've been able to kind of organize it. I'm looking that way because my bag's over there, by the way. <laughs> I'm kind of looking at it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested what people have got to, got, got to say, you know, pull it apart. Uh, criticism fire away um, I'll, I'll put some uh, links I'll put the weight I don't know the weight I think it's probably about around 12 kilos something like that uh, but I'll put the weight in the uh, in the comments or up here or people always do that I've noticed that does anybody else notice that people always go I'll put the weight here and then there's nothing there it's not there so I'm gonna try and do that uh, I'll put the weight there um, <clears throat> yeah I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much to my subscribers, um, those and anybody else who's watched along and made it to this point. I'm sure it's been a long video. Uh, so if you have made it this long, um, stick a um, uh, Browner's 
magic bag in the comments <laughs> and or sack magic in the comments down below and uh yeah yeah well i'll know that you made it this far so props to you because it is it has been a long one um yeah i'm gonna be back out again uh next what's going on yeah i'll be out again next week uh, you know everybody thinks i'm mental my wife my wife's like you might as well live in the woods i probably would if they if somebody let me <laughs> but uh no thanks very much for everybody who has followed along have a great week um it's monday for me so uh no it's tuesday it's not monday at all it's tuesday i had a day off yesterday um props to everyone look after yourselves um take care of your friends and family um big love to you all um signing out <laughs>